Zach Dixon here from Zach Dixon Coaching and today I want to talk about three simple ways that you can start living happier every single day of your life. So the first one I want to talk about is living in the present moment and how important that is. You know, we always talk about and we always hear about, you know, what just live in the moment, you know, just live in the moment, I'm having fun, you know, I just want to live in the moment, but we don't actually realize what that really means. Because when we think about it, living in the moment, living in the moment means you're here with me now. You're not focusing on anything else. You're here with me now. You're focusing on this specific moment. And if you're focusing on this specific moment, you can't be depressed. You can't be anxious. You can't be scared. If you're really present, if you're really present with me in this moment right now, like, like you feel yourself breathing, you know, you're actually hearing yourself talk. You're really in the moment. You cannot be sad. You cannot be depressed. You can't be like that. You only feel happy. You only feel excited. You only feel whatever you're feeling right now. Does that make sense? It's about you living in the moment because I've, I've had times where I'm like, yeah, I'm living in the moment. I'm living in the moment. But the thing is, my mind is going this way, focusing on the future. What do I need to do? What am I need to do? Thinking about this person, this person, this person, this person. Why? Well, this is what i got to do. This is what i got to do. And your mind just starts stacking, 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 and you start feeling overwhelmed, anxious. That's not the way to live. Or you're focusing on your negative past. Oh, this happened in my past. This happened in my past. Oh, they, and then they project it onto the future. The future's going to be like this. They project it into the present. But if you can live in the present and say the past does not equal the future. If I can live in the present moment every single day, enjoying doing every rep, enjoying going to the gym, enjoying talking to people every single day when I communicate with someone, just communicate and enjoy, you know, enjoy their presence. If you can enjoy their presence, you will start enjoying your life. Because all the baggage that you may have, you can let that go. You can actually take the bag off and throw it on the ground and you can start living in the present moment. Living in the present moment is the key. This is what all the people that mentored me, they say, just live in the moment. Enjoy the journey because this is the journey. There's no destination. There's not a destination. People are like, I'll be happy when I get that thing. I'll be happy when I get the job. I'll be happy when, I, when I'm not working anymore. They do that and they say, I'll, I'll enjoy it when I get the destination. Do you know what? The destination is going to happen when you die. That's the destination. You'll always be on the journey. You're always on the journey. Even when you get what you want, supposedly it's the destination. You're really still on the journey. It's a joy. You need to enjoy the presence. Because I've actually achieved things and I've got the thing. You know, I've got what I've really wanted. And I didn't actually enjoy, like, you know, I finally achieved it. I didn't, I didn't enjoy that. But that's life. That's the journey. I've got to enjoy the journey. Because if you can enjoy the journey, everything will fall into place. So that's the first key I want to talk about is make sure you're living in the present moment. Sometimes when you're like working, start breathing slower. Start focusing on your breathing for two minutes. Your stress levels will go down. Everything will go down because you're living in the moment. You're realizing, I'm actually alive. Like I'm alive. I'm awake. You know, I'm, I'm living now. I'm enjoying cooking meals. You know, I'm enjoying going to the gym. I'm enjoying talking to people. If you can get that thing down, life's going to be so much more happier and fuller for you. So that's the first key. And the second key is set rituals up. Rituals up every single day of your life. Because if you can set up rituals, they can actually benefit you in um, becoming happier. If you wake up in the morning and say, do you know what? I'm going to focus, cl close my eyes and focus on all these happy experiences that I'm going to achieve today. All the happy experiences that I achieved yesterday. Happy moments in my past. When was the last time I laughed? Focus on those feelings and actually start going back there. Because our brains can't tell the difference between something we're imagining or something we're experiencing. So if you can actually go back in your mind and think of those times, it'll be like you're already there and you'll get the same feelings. You might start shivering. You might start feeling you know, happy again. So start controlling your focus with specific rituals every day. You know, when you're at lunchtime, start changing your rituals. Say, when I'm cooking my t lunch or something, start actually focusing on what I'm grateful for. Start doing those little rituals. Start focusing. What am I really grateful for in my life? If I ask you right now, what are you really grateful for? If you can name three things that you're so grateful for, could you actually do it? And actually feel the emotion, the emotion from inside of feeling grateful for life, for the people in your life. You know, feeling grateful for this opportunity that you have right now. This opportunity of another day of life. Feeling grateful every single day. Start changing another ritual you could be. You know, start walking 20 minutes every day. Start walking. Start breathing in fresh air. That's another ritual that can support you in becoming happier. Going to the gym. Working out. Pushing weights. That's another ritual that makes you stronger. 
make your bones stronger, release testosterone, make you have more energy through the day. That's another thing. If you can set your day up with new rituals, your whole life will change. Because think about it. When we're actually stressed, we're doing the same thing, we kind of get bored, right? But if you go overseas, you know, you go on a holiday, everything's new because you're doing new rituals. But you can do that every single day by changing your focus, by changing things that you do every day. If you do the same thing every day, say, you know what? I'm going to shock my nervous system. I'm going to do something that I don't usually do just to shock it. And I can tell you, my friend, if you do this, everything will light up in you. All the happiness that you're receiving, all the, all the, all the love that you're wanting will come to you because you're doing it. You're making it happen. So that's the second key. Rituals. Change your rituals every day. It's just simple steps. Stop, you know, little steps. Start eating healthier, small, you know, one meal healthy. Then start two meals healthy. Just little rituals because rituals make us who we are. We can change our rituals and it changes our direction of our life. But, th but whether you want to get somewhere in your life in the next five years will decide on your rituals. If you want to be successful, you have to do success rituals. What the things you don't want to do, you've got to do them. That's just part of life, but you've got to set yourself up. You've got to have a plan. These are the rituals I'm going to do every single day to make me happier. If you can do that, you're going to be happier. So that's the second key. And the third key is, this is actually one of my good friends actually told me this. He said, Zach, you need to understand something. He didn't realize it till he in his 50s. And do you know what he told me? He said, Zach, just make sure this is how you're going to be happy. Just make sure that the people, you look at yourselves around and look at all the people that are around you. And say, if people aren't adding value to your life, by giving you love, giving you happiness, and just bringing problems to you all the time, saying, oh, this is my problem, this is my problem. He said, just let them go. He said, you'll be so much happier if you can just focus on happier people. Spend your time on happy people. And people get so stuck in this. You know, they get so stuck, like, hanging around the same people, you know. You know, they're depressed, and they're hanging around depressed people. How can you break yourself out of that? Because you're just going to be talking about your problems all the time. One thing that I tell people that are struggling and stressed, I say find five people that are happy, that you're excited because if you can start hanging around, guess what happens? It rubs off on you. You start feeling happy, you start feeling excited, you start getting all those good feelings. So if people around you, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's your friendship, the five friends around you, if they're not adding value to your life and they're just taking energy from you, and they're taking that negative energy, you've got to realize, you've got to let them go. It has nothing to do with, you know, you're not liking them. It has nothing to do with that. It's about you respecting yourself. Saying, I want a better quality of life. And the only way you're going to have a better quality of life, my friend, is if you change the people you associate with. You know, if you hang around with losers, I'm sorry, you're going to be a loser. That's just the way it is. You may be saying, you know what, I'm doing stuff on the side. But you know what, if you let them influence you in any way, they start talking a certain way to you. They start doing that. They can actually shock and change your unconscious beliefs. So it's very important that you hang around people that support you. Say, Yo, Zach, you're going to do this. I want you to go to the next level. Zach, you're not actually pushing hard enough. I want you to go to the next level, the next level. Because if you can find friends like that, those are the ones you cherish. You know, I've got a few friends like that. You know, I've got friends like that to say, they, like, if they see me, they will do whatever it takes to get me into a better state of mind to say, Zach, I know you're better than this. Let's raise it to the next game, the next game, the next game. And in the process, I get better and better and stronger. So always make sure people around you are adding value to your life. Because you only get one shot at this life. One shot. This isn't a game. This can be your game. You can, this is the meaning of life. You want Whatever you want to give life, you can give it a meaning. Just make sure you live it full out. Love yourself. Just make sure, look at yourself and say, yes, I'm this person. Every single day, start praising yourself every day. Make everything around you an enjoyable experience. Because this is your reality right now. Whatever you're doing right now, whether you're listening to me right now, this is your reality right now. You can choose to do whatever you want in this life by stepping up, by taking that thing. This is what's going to change your life. Step up, my friend. Three keys. Live in the present moment. Live in the present moment. Here with me now. Number two, set up rituals that can make you happier every single day. Every single day, going to the gym, you know, eating healthy, you know, talking to people you don't want to talk to, no, you want to talk to, you know, hanging around good people that will lift you up. And the third key, hang around people that can add value to your life. Because if you can do that, they'll change your influences. So I hope you got something out of this. Live with passion, 